special report. All right, Lynn Martinez in the 7 Newsplex. You're looking at a live picture of a chase. Look at this SUV, this wise SUV at the top of your screen there. It's got some damage to the driver's side because this car, this driver just crashed into another driver on Sheridan in hiatus. And you can see Lauder Hill, uh, Lauder Hill police following behind, um, again, chasing this vehicle. Uh, it started around a few minutes ago, as far as we could see, around Sheridan Street and Palm Avenue going westbound, and you can see traffic has stopped. So this is not a highway. These are side roads. Uh, we do not know why uh, Lauder Hill police are chasing this vehicle. And right now it's slower speed. You can see there are a good three, four car lengths behind. Uh, but as happens in many of these um, incidents, there is a danger to pedestrians. All right, this is southbound. On, or northbound, excuse me, on Flamingo. That's where this vehicle is going right now. And you can see that Lauder Hill police are pretty close behind, but what concerned us watching this earlier, and there's several vehicles following this driver, um, the driver and the SUV crashed into another vehicle at an intersection, and that was just a few minutes ago at Sheridan and Hiatus, and kept going. Don't know if that person was injured uh, who was hit, but there is definite damage to the driver's side of this SUV. <clears throat> it looks like police are uh, stopping some of the traffic, trying to, uh, you know, alleviate any potential injuries because this is a very dangerous situation. Again, this is uh, on Flamingo right now, uh, northbound on Flamingo. Again, you're just looking at a live picture right now. We just joined you a few minutes ago. This guy's cooking now. A lot of Hill police are chasing this vehicle um, at a safe distance behind, and we do not know why they are uh, on the tail of this person or why this person won't actually pull over. But it must be, it, I mean, the, obviously they don't want to pull over because they were determined enough to hit a vehicle and keep going. All right, so they're taking a right on another side street with, again, police hot on their tail, you know, with a helicopter on top of them and police right behind them. You know, chances of uh, this person getting away are extremely slim. Um, we're in Southwest Ranches right now? Okay, all right, so that's where we're at. Uh, so again, it's not the highway, it's not 595, it's not 95, but there's definite danger to pedestrians on the road or any, any other vehicle on, on the road. Um, maybe we can widen out a little bit if, we can hear, if our photographer can hear us. Um, so again, if you're just now joining us, this is a live police chase, Lauder Hill police. Uh, several vehicles are, are following this white SUV with damage to the driver's side door after a crash at an intersection a few minutes ago. That was at Sheridan and Hiatus. And that driver was just uh, trying to go through a green light when he was or she was smashed by this vehicle. So it looks like they're going through an apartment complex maybe or some side streets thinking that maybe, you know, police will stop following them. You know, this driver goes from high speeds to slow speeds right now. You never know what police or what drivers are thinking when, when they do try to evade police, but you know, in all the years that we've been covering these kinds of stories and chases, 99.9, .9, if not 100% times, they are always caught. And you saw another helicopter. So police also have their eyes on this vehicle from the sky. Looks like the person stopped, passenger is getting out, running, there's a chase on foot. Um, police are chasing two, looks like males, three males, through this grassy area, dog runs, one guy falls down, uh, this is at 122nd Terrace. It looks like they parked at a dead end. Maybe it's some sort of apartment complex, but they're, they're on the loose. Three uh, males are running. Looks like one doesn't have shoes. Um, not thinking probably what their plan is. Ditch the vehicle overhead in these trees. Uh, Lauder Hill Police and other police agencies know exactly where they're at. Looks like they're running into the street there. Um, and this looks like a really big, busy street in Cooper City. These are live pictures of Cooper City. These three individuals are wanted by police. Lauder Hill Police, it looks like. I'm not quite sure, I can't quite read that. Sheriff's Department. Um, blocking off the road, got one suspect. Apprehended one suspect, two are still on the loose. So two police officers apprehending one. And we have several vehicles chasing down the two other male suspects. Again, these two people were in that vehicle, dog is on one of them and the other third suspect is brought down. I think the dog is on one of them because we can't quite see because of that tree right there, but it appears that police, wow, that dog is definitely on the other one. So we have one police officer and one canine officer uh, apprehending two men who were in a vehicle that police were chasing. The driver stopped a few minutes ago. You saw it live right here on Channel 7. 
and the three men jumped out and started running. Guns drawn, again, this is live pictures right now, the end of a police chase ended in Cooper City. This is the final location of Flamingo and State Road 51st. This is Cooper City, Flamingo and Southwest, sorry, 51st Street. So a, a good ending, the only person uh, who really was injured, could be injured, was the driver that was hit. Uh, we went to you guys just a few minutes before you could actually see that. We'll have that for you in 7 News at 4. But one car was hit. Don't know if anybody was injured in that vehicle, but the car did sustain some damage. And you see that all three suspects are in custody after this chase throughout Broward County ended in Cooper City. We're going to find out why exactly they did not stop and why they were actually chasing this vehicle on 7 News at 4. And that starts in uh, 53 minutes. For now, I'm Lynn Martinez. We'll go back to programming. This has been a 7 News special report. We now rejoin regularly scheduled programming.